Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to part 12 of my DIY wide body kit. In this episode, I'm gonna be focused on the rear passenger fender. What I've gotta do is I've got to uh, take down any high spots in the fiberglass, add some clay to it, shape it, um, and then from there, I can uh, start the process of making my mold by primering um, and then pre-cutting my fiberglass. Now, after shaping the front passenger fender and uh, just going through that entire process twice, I finally got to the point where I wanted to go out and buy some real clay sculpting tools. So I went ahead and picked up a set um, and they're pretty awesome, let me show you guys. Here's what I'm talking about. This right here, it's got a handle and it's got um, a, they're basically blades. Scraping away clay is gonna be super easy. They have a toothed edge and then they have a flat edge, which is really nice. Got different attachments here. Got all these different nice curvatures, so angles and stuff. It's a really nice tool and it's all interchangeable in the handle. You just take an Allen key and unscrew it and, and put a new one in. So I'm super excited to be using the tool um, and I hope it's gonna make the entire process go a lot faster. I'm pretty sure it will. All right, well enough about that. I'm gonna go ahead and get to work.
Alright guys, well I've uh, been shaping, I think I've got it to a point where I'm really happy with the rear fender. So next thing I'm going to do is I've got to remove the rear bumper in order to get the pieces separated, the, uh, the rear pieces that connect to the rear fender. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to do that just in case you guys have an M3 and you want to know how. So first thing to do is open up the trunk, take out, lift up your uh, cover here, take out the plastic pieces on either side, um, and then from there there's going to be three bolts or three nuts rather, three nuts right around here on either side of the frame and that is going to be where your rear bash bar connects through here. So I'm going to unbolt those and then the only other thing is there's going to be uh, some fender covers, fender liner um, in the back here and there are I believe two push pins back there and there's also a, uh, a nut as well that I'm going to take off. So I'm going to go ahead and get working on For what it's worth, the other guard was different. So it sits like that. Sorry, the lighting is horrible. But uh, there's a nut over here. There's the nut down here. And then there's one, one push pin. Now there's one thing that I did, I went ahead and took out is, there's a nut right up here. And that actually holds a clip so the bumper can meet right about here. Here's that clip I was talking about. So it just kind of slides over and then the bumper hooks into that piece down there. Alright guys, so the rear passenger fender has primer on it, so now all I have to do is go through the mold making process again. However, this time, instead of using uh, just the wax, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using PVA as my release agent. Um, so once my mold is made, it should pop off way easier than on the front passenger. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and do all my pre-cuts for my fiberglass, and then what I'll do is spray it with PVA, um, and then through the same mold making process of gel coat and then fiberglass resin um, and then let it cure and then pull it off. So it should be super easy. I'm going to go ahead and get all my pre cuts done.
All right, guys. Well, I've got everything done on the rear passenger fender ready to be molded. It's The clay has been shaped, it's got primer on it, and so now all I need is the PVA. Well, unfortunately, I ordered the PVA and it was supposed to be here in time um, to be able to, to do it for this episode, but unfortunately it didn't get here, um, and quite honestly, I have to leave. So um, I'm going to be going on a trip for a little while, and you guys will probably already know this by now, but anyways, what that means is in the next episode, I will be able to go ahead and complete a mold of this fender. I'll be able to spray it with PVA, use that, the correct release agent to make sure that the fender pulls off really easily without pulling off clay and primer and all the stuff that happened on the front driver's side. Um, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, you guys can comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And then also you guys can share the video as well. If you guys want to stay a little bit more up to date with what's going on with the car or what I'm up to, you guys can uh, go to the description box down below. I have my Instagram linked there so you guys can check that out. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Have an awesome day.